Hey there everyone, Hitesh here from LearnCodeOnline.in and in this video we are going to talk about something more in the JS series. So, so far we have seen that we can select any element whether that's a P tag or H1 tag or H2 tag, whatever that might be. Now in this case we are going to take things further one more step and we are going to learn how we can write a custom script that can help us to identify uh, the events on a web page. So the, obviously the first question is what are these events? The events can be anything starting from a click of a mouse, maybe that's a left click, maybe that's a right click, maybe that's a double click, or maybe you are putting a hover to mouse, maybe you're scrolling a web page. And just to give you one simple example, you might be on to some kind of a blog website, any blog by the way, and when you just be there on the blog and try to scroll, after just a few seconds, a pop-up box appears saying that, hey, would you like to submit your email address there? So this is all can be done using uh, JavaScript and it's pretty easy to do so. So in order to perform these kinds of things, let's learn how we can do that uh, by first going into this index.html and we're gonna create something for which we can actually uh, learn about these events. And of course, what can be better than having a simple button? So let's just have a button and we're gonna say click me. So this is gonna be really an ugly button that we can have. And there we go, click me. So there we go. Right now when we click on this button, nothing happens because we didn't tie it up to anything. So now what is our goal is to write a simple JavaScript which can detect for this button. Uh, so far we have been detecting the P's and all these tags. Now we, we also want to attach a listener to this so that whenever somebody can click on it, we can do something and that something can be anything. So let's just go into our JavaScript and write code for that. Now, to your surprise, writing a code for this is actually really, really simple. Let me show you that. So it's really simple. First of all, we're gonna say document dot, and my favorite, we're gonna use this query selector. And in the query selector, obviously you can pass on any classes or uh, your IDs. In this case, I do know that I do have just one button on my page, so that's why I'm saying button. Otherwise, usually buttons have some classes or IDs and based on that, selecting is much more easier. So now this is being selected. Now, what we can do is we can tie it up to something known as add event listener. Now this event listener is really powerful and we're gonna look up later on that how we can utilize that. And this is a pair of parentheses and what it expects you to pass on first of all, a event. Now this event can be anything. Notice the VS code is helping me that what kind of event you are looking for. And maybe it can be anything like click, which we will be using. It can be copy, it can be drag, it can be drop, it can be key down, key press, key up, load, mouse down, mouse leave. Yes, I know this is like really a long list. Mouse wheel and feel free to use any one of them. And as soon as you're gonna be triggering that event, you can do the things that you like. Now in my case, I am just looking for a simple click. So there we go. Now the second parameter that it is expecting is a simple function. It can be a callback, so you can either use your uh, a fat arrow function, I'm really sorry, some people really hate when I say fat arrow function, but it's just an arrow function. Or you can use your regular functions as well by typing simply function. But since now we do have a knowledge of these arrow functions, we're gonna use that. So this is our arrow functions, pair of parentheses, and there we go. So this is what I was looking for, okay. Now, what you really want to do, as soon as this is going to happen, I just want to do a console log. So I'm gonna say something like this, button was pressed, a really simple line. So let me just save that. Let's go back in here on our browser, right click, inspect element, make sure you're onto console. And we're gonna click on this and notice button was pressed. Now, if we're gonna press it multiple times, it just adds a stack onto it and you can see the number there. Okay, that is pretty cool, but that's not something what we are expecting to do. Now, what you can do here is, when you pass this pair of parentheses here, this function, this function actually is able to tie up to an event. So you'll be seeing this event written. Now, although you can call it anything, event, E, or maybe my event, whatever you like. I usually like to call that as event or simply E. Now, what we can do is, first and foremost, we would like to see what this event is. Now, this event is a gigantic object. Let me show you that. So we're gonna have an event. Let's just go back, and this time we're gonna hit clean that up. And as soon as I click on this, now notice we got a mouse event here. And notice there are so many options here. So whatever the event you're gonna be tying it up, 
you can see that we have variety of options on that. Probably you're tying it up to not click, maybe key press or something, then obviously you can, you will have all these options here. So we can see we do have a lot of options and a couple of them which I really wanted to show you is, I'm not able to find it just right now, uh, but I'm pretty sure they are there. So we can see the target is button and I'm not able to figure it out. So there we go, there is the target. And in the target you can see further we do have a lot of options. And one of them is, let me show you a little bit down at the bottom. Uh, we do have this text contact option here. Now this is a really gigantic list. It's really a waste of time uh, to figure it out things in here. I will rather like to show you the documentation part instead of this. So let's go back onto this. And what we can do is uh, this event, notice we had a target. So what we can do now is I can just delete that. And I can say, you know what, in the event, as I click a dot, notice we do have a lot of options, but one that I'm looking for is target. And in the target, we do have other variety of options, but the one that I'm looking for is text content. And I want to change this contact, and I'm gonna say, I was clicked. So what we're expecting in this case, in this scenario is when somebody is clicking on a button, uh, we will be finding that button and we'll be adding an event listener onto that. And when somebody performs this event, in our case it is a click, we will be running this function. And since this function is capable of an event, we are gonna be looking up for target and text content means the button text and it will be changed to I was clicked. So instead of click me, we will be saying I was clicked. Let's see that in action. And we will go on here and now we can quickly hit a reload and we can say click me and notice it just got changed I was clicked. This was really a bare bone example, but this can be taken to a variety of next level. Probably you want to run a music on the click of button, or probably you want to uh, shrink a page, maybe expand a page, or there are endless possibilities that you can do. So I think that's enough, and uh, that's it for this video. You have now learned one more skill about how you can do some stuff, and I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video.